Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to try to identify poorly performing pages using Google Analytics. Now this is a two-step process. The first is to examine the last page people visit before they exit your site and compare it against the percent of exits for those pages. The pages with the higher exit percentages tend to be the worst performers. Even though this isn't always accurate, it's possible that maybe the last page happens to to contain the information everybody wants, like your calendar or directions. Nevertheless, you want to check this to see if you get some surprises, pages that you didn't expect. So I've logged into Google Analytics. I've clicked on the reporting tab in the top. And now I'm going over to behavior, behavior flow, site content, and exit pages. When I click on exit pages, I see a list of all the pages people have left my site from. So what I want to do here is click on the percent exit column. And what this will do is sort the page according to the percentage of, of exits. So the highest percentage, 100%, correlates to these particular pages. So people have exited this page 100% of the time. The highest percentage here tends to be the worst performers, especially if you compare them to the, the number of sessions that pages have um, been the source of exits. So here we have 10 people that have exited this particular page. And we might want to check that page to make sure if there are any forms that are on that page, that those forms are working properly. Another factor that we want to include, besides the exit pages, are also the landing pages. These are the pages people first enter your site on. And generally, these are your home page or frequently linked to pages. So ideally, when people come to the landing site and interact with some element on that page or venture deeper into your website through a link, it's something that you want them to do. If, however, they land on the page and then exit your site immediately or without doing any kind of engagement, this is called a bounce. And this can indicate that there's nothing compelling or of interest to your users. So what we're going to do is click on behavior, behavior flow, site content, and landing pages, which happens to be just above exit pages. So I'm going to click on landing pages. I'm going to scroll down. And here are all the pages that people have landed on. And the column I want to look at is the bounce rate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the bounce rate column. And this will sort according to the highest bounce rate. This usually indicates a poor performer. So here we have past reads, past exhibits, things like that. Look at the number of sessions compared to the number of bounces. And if you see a particularly high session amount, like 10 or so, and then a similar high percentage rate of 100%, that could indicate that there's an issue with that particular page. So go check out those pages. Make sure they're functioning correctly. And if they're not, fix it or try to make that page a little more engaging. So use the exit pages report in conjunction with the landing pages report, and this can help you identify those poor performers in your website.